night. As you probably know, our energy costs here in the islands, they've been through the roof since the war in Ukraine started. Inflation, of course, has been that way for quite some time. While prices have come back to earth on the mainland, we're still dropping first-class coin for gas here. Sam Spangler finds out why in a story new at 10. You may have seen national stories about how gas prices are back to their normal levels in the United States. In fact, they are. They're just two cents less than they were a year ago on this date. But here in the islands, they're more. In fact, 75 cents more than they were a year ago. Over $5 a gallon. Hawaii is the most expensive state in the country right now in terms of gas prices. And they tend to share that dubious honor with California. Today, the U.S. average gas price is $3.26. Hawaii's average is 503, looking down at California's 444. Montgomery says that even though we're higher now, Hawaii has been more stable and less on average over the last year than the Golden State. Our prices skyrocketed after Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year, which prompted Russian oil embargoes. Before the war, Russia provided 25 to 30 percent of Hawaii's oil. The overall the supply situation as far as oil worldwide is really what's going to dictate the price in Hawaii the most uh, because that's about half of the cost of a gallon of gasoline. Um, so it's, it's a little uncertain, but, but we would think that it would be less drastic than last year just because of the surprise of the Ukrainian war and um, inflationary pressures. So if, if those trends continue to hold, then maybe gas prices, uh, oil prices stay low and gas prices can follow suit. Now, even though prices are high, there are some ways to save. Checking your tire pressure is a tried and true method, but even outside of the ones that seemingly everybody knows, there are some other simple ways. Each time we take a trip, I try to do a combination of things to make the best of the trip. Gentle, gentle driving style is probably the number one thing you can do to maximize your gas mileage. I like to look at my real-time gas mileage on my odometer on my, on my dashboard there um, because that really helps guide your driving and uh, to maximize your fuel economy. For more tips to save, you can head over to KH12.com. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working.